promised and long awaited. Five things that I wish I had known about college. And I wish that I had watched videos on this when I was in college um, because it would have definitely helped me. But these are five key things that I did that kind of helped me build the lifestyle that I built throughout this time. So I'm going to start with the first thing that I think is important to everyone. And also, thanks for watching, guys. Um, but the first thing I want to talk about is recreating yourself because whatever you were in high school You don't have to be in college So if you kind of created an identity that you didn't really want to identify with in in high school Or like you weren't the muscle dude or you want the jock or you want the smart one or whatever the case may be Entering college is a whole new realm of opportunity so you can really be anybody you want to be uh, When I came out of high school, I was kind of nervous. I weren't as you know, I was pretty educated, but I definitely weren't muscular and I wouldn't say I was very confident so by doing that it opened up a huge amount of opportunity for me. I became president of my freshman uh, dorm class uh, which later led to an RA position at the school I went to so just create the identity you want in college because that's like your fresh start so whatever you made for yourself in high school whether good or bad you can make it better or worse than yourself when you go to college the idea is to recreate yourself into something that you will be happy with not society so if you're happy the correct people will be around you so that's the first thing recreate yourself don't if you want to move past something that you were in high school prove to people that you can be something more than you were okay so and also those who were top notch in high school don't think when you go to college it's going to be the same because it's not because you are a small fish in a big pond and that is not an exaggeration or a cliche understand that just because you were something in high school does not mean you will be something in college. Trust me, I've seen it firsthand. Uh, the second thing that is important to catch on very quickly if you want to stay in college is time management. If you're not managing your time the way you should, and the reason I say this is because in high school you're begging for stuff to do. Like you're looking for stuff that you're like, gosh, what am I going to do this weekend? What am I going to do next weekend? What am I doing tonight? What am I doing tomorrow? You don't have to search for things in college to do. There are always things in college to do and I mean always like every time you turn around someone's asking you to do something even if you're not a social butterfly people are still asking you to go do this go do that because you're surrounded by so many new people that are just as eager to get out and do new things as you are so understand that you've got to pick that wisely so like with me if I went out on Thursday or I went out on Friday I wouldn't go out Saturday and Sunday Sunday would be my catch-up day Saturday would be my recovery day whatever the case may be you can't do everything that everyone wants to like you can in high school. So in high school, everything you ever got invited to, you probably went to. College, it's not like that. You cannot go to everything you're invited to. You have to pick and choose where you think you'll get the most benefit and who you have uh, indulged with or ignored in the same uh, sense. So with that being said, recreate your identity very quickly. Decide who you want to be in college and then begin to manage your time because you're going to need it when it comes to homework, when it comes to passing exams. It is crucial that you manage your time if you don't you're not going to last in college it's impossible college will make you a time management machine or you'll fail out but that's not a thought we want so manage your time the way you should now this is something that I wish I would have done more of I did it to a certain extent but I missed a lot of opportunities because I didn't want to venture out too far because where I'm from that's like you know you gotta stay on the path and you don't you don't bounce off that path but a lot of my friends did a lot of awesome things in college like travel abroad uh, and just do these very adventure seeking adrenaline rushing things I advise you to do that because this is the only time you don't really have risk you're in college so being adventurous and stuff isn't going to get you in too much trouble as if you had wife and kids where you could lose them or something so you be adventurous, seek out new opportunities, you know, travel while you can. If the money isn't there, wait for the money's there, look up grants. There's a lot of opportunities for college students to get grants to go places. Uh, even like with the RA position, when I was able to save all that money, I was able to do some and travel some more than I normally would have if I hadn't of. Uh, look for scholarships if you're in high school now so you can get as much college uh, paid for as you can so you can use the money that your parents probably saved for you or that you thought you were going to have to pay yourself you can work that job and take that money that you saved and put it in some adventure because this is the only chance where you're going to be like I don't really have anything to do this upcoming weekend so I think I'm going to go to Georgia or Alabama or the mountains or wherever you want to go like the spring break trips adventure out enjoy it because I'm telling you when you get out of college that time starts to diminish and money you have to start paying for a lot more expensive or if that's even a word more expensive things in the world so what I've said so far is recreate yourself, be the person that you've always wanted to be because you can do it in college, manage your time, 
you've got to get that down before you can do anything else and plan those adventures and then be adventurous don't be scared to death to try new things be adventurous because i promise you that when you look back you'll be like that was an awesome time i'm so glad i had that story to tell to people throughout the rest of my life and you never know who you're going to meet uh as time goes on which brings me to my fourth point okay build up contacts all type of contacts don't be afraid to talk to anyone because as a college student you're in your prime you can talk to anyone you want to and they're going to talk back and normally have plenty of plenty of stuff to say the amount of opportunities i've known now listen education is important you don't get me wrong on this next statement but knowing people gets you so far so many opportunities came for me because i knew so many people through the ra position from meeting dads and parents and whatever the case may be moms and girlfriends and everything i mean boyfriends it just i met so many people that actually hold power and actually hold worth so Build your contacts up. Don't be shy. Don't don't be in the corner. Don't be afraid to talk to someone because, like I said, in college or in your prime, most people want to hear what you have to say and want to talk to you anyway. So build your contacts up. So when you're doing these adventures, sometimes you might even get free adventures if you build the contacts right. So talk to everybody, anybody, and be formal and introduce yourself and give a real name and let them give you a name back. And don't be afraid when people compliment you or say nice things to you. Use it as an opportunity to market yourself and speak to that person. Um, because contacts, contacts, contacts are very important in college and life after college. Job opportunities can come from those. Know a lot of people. You don't have to know a lot of people well, but know them good enough that when they walk away they say, you know, that's an all right guy. Or that's an all right girl. Because knowing people will help you out quite a bit. And which brings me to my last thing, because like I said, I'm keeping these videos decently short. I'm trying to keep them less than eight minutes. Um, enjoy it while you can. Okay, don't. And you know, this is not me saying be adventurous again. This is me saying, when you're in the moment and you're and you and you're feeling some type of way, uh, enjoy that moment and, and enjoy being around a lot of people. It's like in high school when your friends come over; it's a great time. That's how college freshman life is, and throughout all of college, really, is you're surrounded by a bunch of young people your age, seeking adventure and wanting to do new things. And there's always someone you can go with. So understand that, enjoying it while you're there is not something to be ashamed of. Enjoy college. You're your own person for those four or five years, ever how long it takes you to get out of college, um, to do whatever you want to do with really little repercussion as long as you're not breaking the law. Um, and that's what I have for you guys. So remember, recreate yourself, manage your time, be adventurous, build as many contacts as possible, and last but not least, enjoy it. Enjoy it, guys. Hit that like or subscribe button. I hope this helps you in your college adventure. If it does, leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you think I've left anything out. And I wish you the best of luck to y'all that are going to college and the ones that are entering college. Take it easy, guys. Peace out.